Come help us. That appears to be the gesture of today from President Muhammad Buhari as his cabinet members and experts meet on the state of the economy. And an opposition party, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has asked President Buhari to resign, asking him to return the nation to the state it was in 2015. That's our focus tonight on the program. Many thanks everyone for joining in on the program. It's Politics Today live on Channel Television. We're reaching you live from our studio in Lagos. Of course, you can watch us on our various platforms. On Facebook, we are live as we speak. You can get to interact with us. Tell us exactly what you make of what we're talking about. There you go. You can see there on your screen what you just go to our Facebook page and you can see us live, Facebook live, as we talk. And also at M. Channels TV and on several of our platforms right here, right now. Before we get started on tonight's conversation, let me serve you with some of the top political stories we're following right here. Political Roundup on Channels Television. Here yeah, are your top political stories this time. Political parties in Edo State have continued to speak on different issues thrown up in the aftermath of the postponement of the governorship election. The chairman of the People's Democratic Party in Edo State, Mr. Dan Obi, has denied claims by the All Progressives Congress that it hired militants for the governorship election. They've perfected ways and plans to inform the Nigeria police and the various security agencies to swap on them with uh, the perfect arrangement that when arrested, those people should confess that they were invited to come to the state by the PDP to assist them at the election. But his APC counterpart, Mr. Antile Mojezwa, believes that the allegations made by his party have been confirmed by the arrest made by the police, insisting the PDP plan to use non-residents to scuttle the election. This is evidence. What is even more, after my statement, recently, just as uh, you have heard, people were arrested with arms and ammunition, fitting the description of our suspicion. The Abia State Independent Electoral Commission, APSIEC, has slated Saturday, December the 17th, 2016, for local government elections in the 17 local government areas and 292 electoral wards in the state. All candidates of political parties wishing to participate in the election are to proceed to APSIEC headquarters for collection of nomination forms, not later than October the 14th, 2016. Let's go decided that uh, local government elections this year. And President Mohamed Buhari has been commended for the spate of ongoing development in the South South region of the country. A gesture believed to be the right step in the right direction. An APC chieftain, Edet Moore, gave the commendation in Calabar when he received APC party stalwarts from Odupani local government area of Koshiva State. And addressing the group, the convener says the region is happy with the plans mapped out by the Buhari-led administration in areas of railway construction, dualization of roads, all aimed at curtailing youth restiveness and opening up more development for the South-South. President Muhammad Buhari is our reporter. And you're up to date. Those are your top political stories you need to know. Thank you for staying with us, everyone. Don't forget that we're live on Facebook right now as we speak on the program. So you can catch everything that is going right here on Channels Television, on Politics Today. And, of course, you can drop your comment on whatever issue that is being raised and you can be part of the show. Well, let's get started, shall we? Some people have advised uh, the president to consult experts on ways to jot the economy back to life. That appears that exactly what the president is doing right now. It seems he's moving in that direction. Today at a technical meeting with members of his cabinet and some experts at the presidential villa, the president called on local and foreign investors' support in the ongoing efforts to get Nigeria out of recession, which strong economic analysts say 
has started since 2012 and requires at least 18 months to fix. Addressing cabinet members, economists, and developmental experts at a one-day retreat at the presidential villa, President Buhari said there is an urgent need to raise private sector investment in the economy and make doing business in Nigeria as easy as possible. The president says the 2017 uh, budget must be able to address critical needs of the economy, adding that some key ministries will get less than usual allocation in the 2017 budget, while some other ministries will get significantly more in the face of the ongoing recession. Given that this retreat is a lit up to the 2017 budget, my expectation is that you will come out of these sessions with a determination and a common position on how to help improve synergy among the various ministries and departments for the effective formulation and implementation of 2017 budget. I also trust that the breakout session will enable you to discuss extensively among yourselves the details of the four sub-themes and come up with practical solutions on the way forward in order to come out with a set of prioritized projects and programs that will fit into 2017 budget. In this regard, let me inform you that because of the need to focus on our key priorities, some ministries will get significantly less capital allocation than they received in 2016, while others may get significantly more. While the government is taking the heat in the task repositioning our economy for change. We cannot achieve this completely by ourselves. We will need and we ask for the support and cooperation of the private sectors, domestic and foreign investors. The states and local governments, the National Assembly and the judiciary, as well as well-meaning Nigerians in this important task. All right, and uh, President Muhammadu Buhari, his speech there at uh, the retreat for, on the economy. Well, let's take a look at some of the reactions to some of the issues on the ground. The opposition party, uh, the PDP, uh, which the president has called out on at some point as uh, a cause of the rot in the economy, has come out with some venom. Well, listen to what he said. The PDP, in a statement from Prince Dayade, the spokesman of the McCarthy led Catechic Committee, says the PDP is worried over the state of affairs in the country, uh, especially the statement from the Honorable Minister of Finance, Kemi Adioshu, that recession is a word. The party went further to say, and I quote now, what Nigerians want from this administration are results, simple, and not resorting to throwing tantrums on the PDP at every given opportunity. The PDP... The party concluded that the earlier the president and this team quits, the better for the country, saying there is no better time than now to make this call for the president to return the country to how he met it and quit or right away quit for a more experienced team to take over. End of quote. Where the APC2 is not taking the matter lying low, the Minister of Information swiftly has reacted to the to the East Alagi Lai Mohammed reply uh, the PDP to say the federal government has slammed the PDP for once again asking President Muhammad Ubari to quit, calling the former ruling party a shameless irritant which is bent on distracting the government from its rescue mission and returning the country to quote unquote Egypt. We are, according to the APC uh, quote now, we are on a rescue mission to resuscitate Nigeria after the PDP left it in a coma. And the noise from the same PDP seems designed to sabotage the rescue effort, but will not deterred. End of quote. The Minister of Information and Culture, Laji Lamama, said this in a statement in Abuja. Well, we go on a short break, and when we return, we'll bring our guests into the conversation. 
And of course, we dig deeper into the matter. Join us again.